If you're a fan of the Door Kickers series, then Hot Brass is a game that you will definitely want to be taking a look at. Releasing on the 26th of February 2021 from developers Walk With Kings is Hot Brass, a real-time top-down tactical shooter that introduces a modern neon twist to SWAT team infiltration, yet it manages to retain the intensity, the brutality and the skill-based elements of tactical shooters which have come before it. Hello and welcome, I'm Sim UK, and it is my goal to provide to you the most honest, fact-based, critical reviews on YouTube. If you find this review helpful, then please hit that like button, subscribe, and help to support the channel by donating via the links below. Thank you so much, and enjoy the review. Hot Brass is so well implemented that I think there is an argument to suggest its usefulness in the training of real-life SWAT officers, as the need to plan your moves, assess the situation and react in a split second to real-time conditions that unfold in front of you, whilst at all times ensuring that you use the appropriate level of force, is nothing short of the skill-based learning curve that real SWAT officers learn in training. And, as it does in the real world, your ability to do it will improve your practice. Hot Brass is definitely geared towards and probably best played as a co-op or four-player team experience, although Hot Brass is equally playable in single-player mode. However, you are going to have to have eyes in the back of your head. The game's tutorial is really very straightforward and easy to follow, but it does also highlight the complexity that this game involves. Learning the techniques and buttons to be proficient will take a few attempts, but at the same time, it's also pretty intuitive, regardless if you use a controller or a keyboard and mouse. There are also a number of in-game assists to help you when you start out, like aim assist, for example. Keybinds can be set to whatever you want them to be, and it's quick and easy to get straight into the action. Before each mission, you get to read the brief, Choose your equipment and prepare. Each successfully completed mission will unlock new missions or arcade maps, and completing challenges within them also unlocks additional equipment and perks, like new weapons, body armor, and additional equipment like night vision. Once you're in the thick of things, you'll have to navigate your way around unfamiliar locations, sometimes in the dark, so using your torch is essential. You'll also have to use crouch, sprint, and hurdle whilst quickly identifying and subduing both innocents and hostiles with varying levels of hostility. Using too much force in any way at any time will immediately render the mission a failure. Each mission has to be done 100% right or not at all. Enemies have varying states of awareness and hostility, and by utilising your voice, special equipment that's afforded to you, like flashbangs and tasers, you must react quickly and appropriately to ensure that the best outcome for all is achieved, whilst gathering evidence along the way, of course. Enemies might change their mind about having given up and reach out for that pistol once more, so be warned, at times you will definitely need to discharge your weapon. Enemies will have a variety of weapons as well, including flashbangs and grenades. Now, should you get caught by a flashbang, either an enemy one or your own, you will suffer whiteout, loss of audio, and your controls will be reversed, which is a really nice bonus disorientation implementation. As you progress through the missions, you will find ever more demanding challenges and difficult situations that you need to overcome. For example, some hostiles are considered to be VIPs, and they must be taken hostage no matter what they do. This adds emphasis to stealth, as any associate of the VIP will try and alert them as soon as they spot you. This game is extremely challenging, as well as being incredibly rewarding and fun. 
I've only experienced one single bug where an enemy wouldn't allow me to push through a door so I tried kicking it open Looking and accidentally door. killed him. But on the most part, this game is absolutely solid. I can see multiplayer on this being incredibly engaging and I hope Spotted and pray up. that they're going to allow mods that we, so that we can have more and more maps available over time. I'd also like to see much, much bigger maps. Definitely this is one to be thinking about. If, uh, if this hasn't engaged you already, then put it on your wish list and keep an eye on it because I think it's an absolute blinder of a game and definitely something that I have to recommend. Thanks for watching. Take care. Till next time. Goodbye. Scouting under door. Scouting under door. Looking under door. Suspect spotted. Free! Police! Get down! Stop where you are! Securing evidence. Painting hostile.